My apologies to the Chief Government Whip. Um, I am going to interrupt the matter for five seconds to allow the Deputy Leader of the Opposition to raise a matter of privilege. The Deputy Leader of the Opposition has the call. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I wish to raise a matter of privilege in relation to the truth of statements made by the Prime Minister about Mr Michael Smith in the House of Representatives on the 28th of November 2012. This morning, the member for Gellibrand, as chair of the Privileges Committee, read into Hansard a letter from Mr Smith rebutting the Prime Minister's remarks. As the member for Gellibrand stated this morning, and I quote, the committee emphasises that, as required by the right of reply resolution, it has not considered or judged the truth of any statement made by the member in the House or by the person seeking the response. Madam Speaker, while Mr Smith has been given the right of reply and a certain degree of natural justice with the reading into Hansard of his letter, I believe the committee should be given the opportunity to judge the truth of the statements at issue made by the Prime Minister to the Parliament. I therefore request, Speaker, that you consider whether a prima facie breach of privilege has occurred. I thank the member. Just before the, the Deputy Leader of the Opposition, um, again for everybody, rights of reply do not judge the matters. I mean, that is not what they are there for. So uh, you know, just for the record and for everybody else out in radio land and who is on the email at the moment, rights of reply are a privilege that the parliament offers individuals and they should be respected and it is not about judging the matter and I'll take into consideration the matter that the Deputy Leader of the Opposition has put before us. The Chief Government Whip has the call. Uh, 